sun. But in calendar we see there are only 365 days every year. This one fourth day is not added. But the duration of this one fourth day becomes complete one day in four years. And every fourth year this extra one day is added to this 365 days in the month of February. So in that year the February month has 29 days and the year has total 366 days. This year is called a leap year. Now come to the effect of revolution. The earth revolves around the sun and due to the revolution of the earth, seasons occur. There are four main seasons experienced on the earth. They are summer, winter, spring and autumn. First, summer season. It is the hottest season. It falls between spring and autumn. It begins in the middle of March and continues till the end of June. During summer, the days are longer than nights. Next, winter season. It is the coldest season. It falls between autumn and spring. It begins in the middle of November and continues till the end of February. During winter, the days are shorter and nights are longer. Next is spring season. It falls between winter and summer. It remains for the month of February and March. Next, autumn season. It falls between summer and winter. That means in the month of September. During autumn, the duration of day begins to fall. Now come to the solstice. The day on which the sun shines vertically overhead the Tropic of Cancer or the Tropic of Capricorn and the duration of the day is the longest in that hemisphere is called solstice. There are two solstices in a year. Summer solstice and winter solstice. Summer solstice falls on 21st June. On this day, the sun shines vertically on the Tropic of Cancer and the Northern Hemisphere experiences summer season. Whereas the Southern Hemisphere experiences winter season. It is known as summer solstice. Now winter solstice. It falls on 22nd December. On this 
day the sun rays fall vertically on the tropic of capricorn and the northern hemisphere experiences winter season and the southern hemisphere experiences summer season during winter solstice the duration of the day is shortest in the northern hemisphere while in southern hemisphere it experiences the longest duration of day now come to the equinox the day on which the midday sun shines vertically overhead the equator here in this situation and the duration of day and night is equal all over the earth is called equinox there are two equinoxes in a year first it falls on 21st march and next on 23rd september on 21st march there is a spring season in northern hemisphere here it is called spring equinox while in southern hemisphere it experiences autumn season now on 23rd september again the equinox occurs and on this day the northern hemisphere experiences autumn season whereas in southern hemisphere there is a spring season by this the topic gets over we will meet in the next class with a new topic thank you